Welcome to the video of knowing how to use the DevMax Fiscal device. In this video, we're going to learn how to print our invoices to the DevMax printer so that it come out with a fiscal QR code. From the previous videos, we've learned how to connect the DevMax card to our computer and how to make sure it's reflecting and to make sure it's the correct device which is connected. We have also learned how to open and close our fiscal day or how to generate a Z report. So before we attempt to generate our Z report or to open our settings so that we open our fiscal day, we just have to make sure we are connected to a stable internet connection. Also make sure your day is the current day you are doing your invoices. Also make sure the time is correct. So we're going to proceed in opening our RevMax settings, which is usually on our desktop screen, or we can find it if you search on our search engine button here. You just type RevMax settings and it should come up there. So we're going to open the RevMax settings application so that we open our fiscal day. So here you can see in this yellow tab where it say our current day is current is closed. So we're just going to proceed and click generate the report to open our fiscal day. So we're going to click generate Z report. So depending how fast your internet is, it shouldn't take much of your time to open a fiscal day. So when this screen pops up, you just check here on message where it say our day has been opened. So we're just going to close this screen. There's no need to save anything. You just click OK. Then you're good to go. You can open your accounting package and proceed printing your invoices to the RevMax printer. So in this video, we're going to do a demo session uh, whereby we're going to open, uh, we're going to use a template or we'll do a sample of an invoice so that we show you how to print an invoice. So I'm going to use a template which is currently on my desktop screen, which is an Excel template. We're just going to see how it will be looking like. So here is our template. So before you attempt printing, make sure your device is connected your time is correct you have opened your day then you go to your invoicing so make sure you're using the correct template right here we are using the fiscal tax invoice template for usd client so before you attempt printing again just make sure all the details are correct including your company details your company name your email your website your phone your vat number and your team number you can also check your customer details if you are sending the invoice to a correct client. Um, then you, when you show the address, the VAT, tin cell, and email is correct, you can also check the date. Make sure the date is the current day you are printing your invoices to the RevMax printer or the day you are printing your invoices to the RevMax card. So I have to make sure also there is a document number or a reference number of your invoice. So make sure each invoice has a unique invoice number and make sure it's sequential. So here we're going to try and print this invoice, but before we print, just make sure also your line items, everything is filled in. Make sure if it has a description, make sure the description is filled in. If it has unit price, just make sure the unit price is filled in. You can also check out the details to make sure if everything is okay. So when you show everything is okay, you can proceed with your invoicing. So here we're going to print our invoice. So here we're going to click on menu, then we click print. Then under name here, you choose the printer named RevMax invoice. That's the RevMax printer we're going to use to, to print our invoices to come out with the fiscal QR code. So we're going to select the RevMax invoice printer and click OK. So it shouldn't take much of your time. Just wait for the RevMax capture pop-up to show. Then you click submit. So here we're going to click submit, then it shouldn't take much of your time. Uh, another pop-up has to show for you to save your invoice as a PDF. Or if it was directed to print your local printer, it will just print your local printer. So here, our pop-up to save our invoice is shown. So you just choose a location where you want to save your invoice. So mine I'm going to save on desktop i'm just going to save on my desktop screen so let's see if i use this is our test one so we just save it as test one then i click save here so we're just going to go to a location and check if the invoice has been fiscalized 
So we're going to open our invoice on our desktop screen. We have this test one. You can see here, there is a QR code. So you can, if you have a phone with a scanner, you can scan the invoice to see if it's valid. So when you show everything is okay, you can proceed with your invoicing. If you have more invoices, if you have your invoice, the RAND invoice, or the ZIG invoice, you can proceed doing so. So that's how you print your invoices to the RevMax printer. You can also find your documents. So the RevMax by itself it will save um, the, your invoices using your invoice number. So if you go, if you open any file, then you go to this PC, then you lock, you open your local disk C, then you open the RevMax folder. You can see there's another folder named Documents. Here, so all your invoices will be saved by invoice number. So you can see here, this is the invoice we just did. It's saved by invoice number. So if you don't know or if you can't see your invoice, you can just try opening this location and print your invoices. Let's say you want five copies, you can print them from here. You just open the document and you choose the number of copies you need and print your local printer. So that's how you print your invoices to the RevMax printer so that you can get a fiscal QR code. So when you're done with all your invoicing, you open the RevMax settings application again to close your fiscal day. So before you attempt closing your fiscal day, just make sure also you are connected to a stable internet connection. You can see here on this yellow tab, it's saying our fiscal day is currently opened. We've done all our invoicing, so it's time for us to close the fiscal day. So you just go down here and click on generate set report. So depending how fast your internet is, it shouldn't take much of your time for the Z report to send through. So here this uh, the pop-up here it shows here on message that our fiscal day has been closed. So we're sure our day is closed. We're just going to close the screen. Then that's it. That's how you fiscalize your invoices. Then you close all the applications that's done for that day. Thank you.